Hello family, Xanthony here. I am coming to show you a uh, book, an altar book that I made. It's a Halloween altar book for a swap. And this swap was hosted by Jan's Crazy Life here on YouTube. And this is my video response for the swap. So I will walk you through the book that I have made so you can see what I've done. So this is the book here and I will try to show it as best as possible but um, it's this is the side view of it. It's a little chunky not as chunky of, as the other ones I've been making. I'm trying to not make them as chunky and I've attached this tag here Okay, I gotta do something different here. Let me try to. Oops. Let me try to lower it or something so I can show it better. Uh oh. Okay, let me see what. Okay, let's try it right here. So, this is it tied down. This is the tag that I've attached to the side. It has a spider on it. Now this tag was sent to me last year in a swap. Oh, I know I'm going to butcher the name. I think her name is Teresia or something like that. But it was through um, Facebook. And then I just added the black paper in this um, label here. So whoever receives this, they can write their name on it or give it away as a gift or whatever and write a tour from so it says happy Halloween it has a, a bug up there and a spider and spider web so this is my cover and I have it wrapped closed with some orange tool And on the cover here, this right here, this picture, this is actually a greeting card that I got last year from Dollar Tree. And I just covered up what it said there with this punched out scallop and then this uh, ephemera or die cut piece here, ephemera there the name of this book I got the book actually from Dollar Tree and the name of the book was called Wick Wicked Cruel so I left that alone I just put a piece of washi tape there that covered up some something and then the author's name was right here and I covered that with some washi tape and I've done a thin layer of uh, Mod Podge over the entire book front and back um, I added a couple stickers here. These bats, these are stickers that I've put put on here. And then right here is another sticker. And these were out of a package of the Tim Holtz stickers, Halloween stickers that I had previously hauled. So this says Lost in the Woods. So I was starting to try to tell a story, but, you know, I got off of it. But I mean, it still is kind of a story. So anyway, it says Lost in the Woods. And then on this one here, it says Dead and Breakfast Inn. And there's vacancies. So that's how I was trying to start the story off. And I guess it still is. It could be separated as these are rooms in this Bed and Breakfast Inn. So we'll see how that goes. Um, right here I put I put this uh, sticker here and it says welcome we've been expecting you and then here it says come and lay your weary bones to rest and I've used uh, black ink throughout my book on the cover and on all the pages and most of the journaling cards and die cuts and all of that 
distressed with the ink. So in the front here I made this pocket and attached this skeleton here and in the pocket there's this tag. I put some googly eyes on there in the skull and this is a stamp that I had purchased. It was a set of Halloween stamps that were new this year from Michaels that I picked up and so I stamped the skull and fussy cut it out and just uh, put a little more ink on it to darken it and then there's just another piece of paper there for um, journaling so let me try to get that back in there okay on this page here going along with the it's like a haunted bed and breakfast and it's called dead and breakfast in so on this side there's a little uh, sign here it says welcome please check uh, brooms and fangs at the door so I just adhered this little broom here I cut out of a card and this is a an embellishment that I had purchased some Halloween embellishments a little plastic or what do you call it oh, I forget the name of them but I glued that there and then I just made a little pocket there and put these two little pieces of paper in here for journaling. This here is a paper clip that I made out of that ephemera. And then on this page you have the witch's cat there. And then right here it has the witch and I left the title of the book there that says Wicked Cruel and then I added a sticker down there that says The Old Witch and put this die cut here and then on this page it says do not disturb all inked up and then here it says things are not what they seem so in this bed and breakfast it's things are not what they seem so on this page I made a pocket and this here I just mod podged a little uh, napkin here that says boo and then I made a little journaling card that goes in there and there is also some more paper in there for journaling so here is this is the dead and breakfast in I added if you can see it's a little sticker it says 1331 and I attached it kind of crooked to make it look like it was falling off the house and then here is a sticker it says through the empty rooms and then up at the top corner there it says open day and night so I was trying to make it be like a story and on this side here I put a picture of this gentleman here and then I named him Henry A. Potter and then I put a sticker here that says a much misunderstood gentleman so all these word stickers and stuff these are off of the sticker sheet the Tim Holtz uh, st sticker sheet um, and it says vanishing visitors will never leave and then there's a old picture here and it's a bunch of children and there's a couple of adults on there but it says the grave digger has arisen so I was thinking like these were people that have come to visit and st stay in this um, uh, breakfast inn that's like tucked away in the woods where they've gotten lost and they find this place for shelter so they go there but like something strange going on in there so and they've all been killed so these are just like their bodies that have come back so it says the grave digger has arisen and then it says someone digging in the ground and I just made a little pocket out of there and added some paper for journaling I better hurry up this is gonna be too long trying to make a story <laughs> here I left pretty much blank I did ink around it and I added this uh, label here so it's plenty of space for journaling 
or pictures. Here's just like one of the pictures that would be found in this uh, Dead and Breakfast Inn. So it's a mummy wrapped all up there and I put a name sticker there. It says Everett Payne and I just made a little tuck spot there and a little card for journaling. This page here, this I just cut out of I think a magazine. I made a little pocket there and then there's paper for journaling and then it's just decorated with some bats. Here is a little tip in that I made out of a Halloween card from Dollar Tree. It says bewitched up top and then when you flip it over there's a nice space for journaling. You can actually add a picture here and then on the bottom here it says part second. So like this is the second part of the story and I don't know maybe we're walking into one of the witches uh, rooms in the in the uh, the inn the dead and breakfast inn so on this page it says double double toil and trouble I made a little pocket out of the book paper and then I just added three pieces of paper here for for journaling if I can grab hold of them so I just have these three in there for journaling and it's decorated with a sticker and this is a piece of an old choker necklace that I put there. This page here there's a witch and a cauldron and there's a hand sticking out of there and so up top it says bubbling and churning and then here witch's potion. I made a little journaling card there out of a index card and it says in the middle a boiling cauldron. So down here it has words. It says hocus pocus, wool of bat and tongue of dog, eye of newt and toe of frog, lizards legs and howlet's wing. And then I just put some little stars all over the background. Here I made this shaker. These are those little jars from Dollar Tree, the little canning jar, Ziploc baggies. So I made a shaker, stamped out some eyeballs and fussy cut them out and put them in there with sequins and then I added this little tag. I can barely read it but it says, let's see, second salt follies or something. It has a little eyeball on there. So and I added some twine and a little spider and there's two more little spiders. And so and I just actually this is a belly band and I just tucked that behind the belly band with a piece of folded coffee dyed paper. Here's some more coffee dyed paper that is just I cut these little potion bottles out and I just took some paper there. And then on the back of this one, I just put a, a spider there. Okay. This page here with the spider webs, I added a large glittered spider and a label. And it says the spinster on the little sticker up there. This page, there is a spider web. And I made a little tuck spot with it. Added paper for journaling. On this page, on this side, I punched out a couple of the little mason jars with my punch. One has a stamped out skull and a wrapped twine. The other one has some stamped out eyeballs that I fussy cut out. And then I made a little journaling spot there and that holds that paper in. This side is another Halloween card from Dollar Tree and it has this little ugly creature and it says one wicked beast on that sticker I need to glue that some more and then it just flips open for journaling and you can put a picture there turn the page I made a corner pocket 
and with a, it's a double pocket because there is this little tuck spot here that I made. I put a die cut there, distressed it, and some little pieces of paper for journaling. Then I made a tag. This one says, the best eternal rest. And on this side, I've attached this paper here for journaling and just decorated it up. And then I added some list paper and I added this seal here. Well, it's a die cut, uh, ephemera. And it says enter at your own risk. And I stuck that in there. And then on this page, I pretty much left it alone for pictures or whatever. Um, all inked up around the edges. Okay, here we're going into, uh, what does this say? It says Rochelle Salts. So, um, I don't know what you would call it. But I stamped out a syringe and then a bottle of brain salt. Then there's a place for journaling. Journaling there. So on this side, I used a template of a jar that I had saved from, it had some flowers or something on it that I saved to use as a template. And I stamped out a bunch of brains and fussy cut them out and put them in the jar. So, that's what they can uh, use their brain salt. Season up the brains before they eat them. So, in, I made a little tuck pocket there. And inside is just a piece of uh, ledger paper that I've distressed. And I added another um, stamped image of the brain salt there to decorate that. And there's a little spider in the corner. Then the next page, I added a pocket. And these little jars here, these were sent to me last year in some Happy Mail or Halloween swaps or something. So I just glued those there, made a little journaling card, there's an eyeball, and then another journaling card. I, put, I cut that out and put that there. So this next page is a pocket, and I put a coloring sheet coloring book page on there. Then I had stamped out this little rat and it's looking up at the cauldron. In the cauldron I put a couple eyeballs and then a hand floating in there and it says fire burn and cauldron bubble. And then there's a few eyeballs that fell out. So that rat looked like it's ready for whatever's in that pot. So in the pocket I just added some list paper. Is that all? Yeah, some list paper in there for journaling. When you turn the page, I added a glassine bag and these stickers, the little um, tombstone stickers. And it says up here, it says, come and lay your weary bones to rest. Inside the bag I made this tag for journaling and down here it says was buried good and proper up on this corner of the page it says by the door of a tomb and then here it says an unfortunate ending and I left space for journaling so this is like maybe where they have been burying the bodies okay this page is labeled pharmaceutical pharmaceutical chemist and then I put this little ugly guy there I guess he's the chemist oops sorry and then I made a little tuck spot and added this for journaling it says poison and then let's see here down here I just cut this out of a list pad that I had it was a Halloween list pad and here's part of, this is what I cut out and used here. 
and then on this side I made a tuck spot it says no chemicals used and then I just put a few sheets of the list pad together I cut the top off this it said notes at the top which I did still use in the book we'll get to that in a minute but I used washi tape to hold these together well the cover the staple and I tuck that right into there so then this next page is another one with the jack-o-lanterns that I left for pictures here is a piece of a envelope let me move this which it's an envelope that I've attached and made a belly band where it'll hold these papers in the pocket I put some paper for journaling some more ledger paper and then tucked behind the band I had paper and this little card here and that just goes behind this uh, die cut not die cut it was a ephemera what do they call they call these these I had got at Walmart uh, what were they something large something um, behind this little belly strap piece of bling I made a little belly band there took some coffee dyed paper and then I made this tag to slip behind there it's a witch it says I put a, a spell on you and it could be used for journaling and then on the back I put a little pocket made from the book paper it says mischief and mayhem and did my little journaling card get stuck let's see it did and a little stuck there so just a little journaling card there I'll have to fix that um, that stick down in there then on the next page is another pocket and I put a coloring book page there of the vampire and then I added some of the yellow googly eyes yeah they move the little yellow googly eyes from Dollar Tree and then a sticker that says I bite and there's another little rat looking up at him and in the pocket I just added paper coffee dye paper for journaling and I made a journaling card there's another rat and I added little tabs to these to pull out of the pocket okay this page here I left blank pretty much except for the the ink for more journaling space here is a paper clip that I made says All Hallows Eve some coffee dyed paper that's inked up around the edges and then this is inked up because we're getting to the end and it says trick or treat up top and then more room for journaling I left this page alone for like pictures and then here it says October 31st and it says haunted for life so that dead and breakfast in is haunted for life and then it says boo here on this page I added a tip a tip in it says it's Halloween it's a Halloween card in the back for journaling then here I use this die cut spider web to make a little tuck spot I added a little piece of the pumpkin that was cut out of some trim and some paper for journaling this page here is pretty much just for journaling and this is the top of that list pad that says notes and I added these black glittered uh, skulls and then down here it says the end and then the the back page I made a pocket it has a spider web on there and I added a plastic spider I think this was a ring that I cut 
and then I added this tag that I made with the skeleton and then it says spooky some paper for journaling on the back and then an extra piece of paper for journaling and then on the back cover I added my info so I stamped handmade with love and then my name and YouTube channel layered on some paper and then you can see where I have inked it up make it look spooky and yeah so that is my Halloween altered book for the swap so I hope you like it I did have to go pretty fast to try to get this done in time because I found out about it a little late so anyways here it is uh, thank you Jan for I think your name is Jan <laughs> I'm sorry uh, but for hosting this swap I will link her channel in the description box so you can go over and check it out and then when all the the videos go up for the books you can see them so until the next one everyone stay blessed hit that subscribe button like share this video I would appreciate it it will help my channel grow our channel grow and until the next time, family, God bless. Bye-bye.